am so pleased to be with our winners from the Davis Monthan Air Force Base out in Tucson, Arizona. Today, we have Kathy Lozano, a longtime CYSA and the Sport and Fitness Director, along with Shay Cantrell to talk a little bit about their program. Thank you guys for being with us today. First, let me ask a question. You had some really innovative ideas in your application that you've implemented, not only a fitness challenge, but also a free throw challenge. Would you do us a favor and tell the audience a little bit about the initiative? Absolutely. So for the summer fitness challenge, um, the kids and another staff actually came up with the idea. They kept coming in every day. Let's do a foot race. I want to see who the fastest person is in the youth center. So we decided to just start a summer fitness challenge and we incorporated six core areas. We had the sprints. We did the wall sits. We did planks, push ups, sit ups and a hula hoop challenge. And then for the free throw challenge, we were actually um, challenged by Moody Air Force Base. Their youth center reached out to us and asked us to join in on this ACC wide challenge. So we, myself and some of the youth put together a video and we actually won that challenge. Awesome. So what aspects do you think that the kids like the most about those and how did you, what did you learn? I mean, if you're going to run it again, would you make any changes moving forward? Tell the audience a little bit about that. So for the summer fitness challenge, um, the kids have already asked to repeat the activity again next summer. They just want to do six new areas. They want to try something different, maybe even strive towards more of a track aspect, try to do a long jump and those sort of things. Um, for the free throw challenge, since we were the winners, we will be hosting the next challenge of 2021. And the youth and I have already discussed that they want to step it up a little bit and they want to try doing a three point challenge instead. I, I know you guys use some social media to have people post during this pandemic. So that's something that I think is real interesting to share to, to kind of build the momentum. But tell us, how did you include parents as well in the efforts? Yes, so we did use our Facebook page to reach out to our parents. We did um, Facebook live videos to reach out to everyone. And we actually had a good turnout. The parents came in and they participated and the kids had a lot of fun with it. That's great. So one last question. Um, you know, I know you've been doing youth sports for a long time, Kathy. You've been, been working really hard at this. Um, you've been a certified youth sport administrator for a very long time. And I know your organization has already won um, and earned the quality designation because that's how you get to apply for the Excellence Award. But tell us a little bit during this crazy year of 2020, what does it mean to you and your staff to, to earn excellence in youth sports in 2020? Well, to earn, to earn this great um, award is, is we've all worked really, really hard and we've worked with the kids and um, with the um, COVID going on, it's just been really stressful and Shay did a great job working with the kids, getting the parents involved and it brought us all a little bit closer together with the kids as well as with the staff during this difficult time. I want to thank both of you for taking some time to talk to the audience. Congratulations again for being a 2020 award winner. Uh, kudos to you and all you do and hopefully we will all see you very soon in person. Thanks again. Thank, thank you. you.